Mike's still in the desert, and Trevor is trying to get with Mrs. Madrozo. Welcome to Click Fireball Media, home of hack slash PC and console games. Trevor hijacked a train the last time, and then he crashed it into another one. It was all to grab that statue right there. We eventually returned it to Mr. Madrozo while Trevor picked up this hitchhiker rider. Don't worry, she was a total psychopath. Anyways, Frank and Trevor got into a bit of an issue again. The FIB showed up, they went and did a bit of a mission. And now we are back at Trevor's place. It's going to be a 50 minute video today. So we're going to be getting plenty of stuff done. Actually going to be including a couple missions. One after another. And we're going to... Who keeps shooting that gun in the background? It's starting to worry me. I need to find where that sound is coming from. If it's a hostile individual, we're going to have to deal with them. At the same time, let's just leave Trevor's place. We need to go where we need to go. Okay, I know who's shooting now. It's Ron. Only in rural places like this where you could just be in your lawn shooting cans, I guess. And we will have to go to Trevor's. I thought we we're already at Trevor's. I'm thinking is Floyd spot so we're getting into the car right now and we're leaving already have a waypoint marked okay don't worry about that fence nor that yield sign they were coming down anyways and I am just going to warp out of here all right we're here now okay I didn't really mean that, but the guy wants the prompts. What do you want to do? Stop him out a little bit. Ain't nothing. What you want now, huh? What you want now? That's what he gets. Okay, what's up? Oh, shit. Okay, I kind of ran him over too, but that semi did not give a fuck. All right, we are at Trevor's spot right now. Let me just park the car real quick. Okay, that's not the spot. I was trying to park in there perfectly and it did not work out. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. 
I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. What Trevor? the fuck did you do, Trevor? <laughs> oh. Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Oh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. All right. That wasn't even slick at all. He murdered them people. Rest oh, in exactly peace to, to Floyd and Deborah. They did not deserve the ending they got. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got. You got syrup? Yeah! It's syrup. official, but Wade is an idiot. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Okay, a little bit of an don't accident. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you. You met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to a quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Trevor's like the last guy you should be trusting, Wade. He killed your cousin, all right? Anyways, I think we just got here. So let's take a uh, left. Look, this is it. Yeah, we got here. And also, we can save cars by parking so them in the bay. This is where Floyd is going to meet us at Strip Club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Well, that was quick. I guess Trevor works some magic and... We have passed the mission. Hang 10 has been completed. All we have to do is meet Trevor. The problem with that is it's kind of hard to find him. I mean, I know it showed inside the strip club, but then I ran around the place. I did not find where he was, and all of a sudden, we're here with Frank. And he seems to be enjoying some TV, but not anymore because we are going on a mission. Can't we go outside this way? I feel like a 
bird that just ran into the window. Okay, so. We're going to leave out the front. I'm not going to be changing any wardrobe. Once it ain't us, dog. There you go. We marked the waypoint. And I'm just going to be... Okay, I'm not going to be choosing the car. Kind of want to get there quick, so I'm going to be picking the bike this time. Also... It moves around a lot better. So the ways to get them dollars and funds, nigga. Coming down in the old school, so cool. Whip like a fireball, call it go cool. Let's go ahead and just skip out of here. It's gonna take a little bit of a while just to even get there. Alright, we're here now. And this is the problem I ran into with Mike. Here we are at the sign. I mean, we're at the mark. So I'm going to be going around, parking the bike in the front, somewhere maybe. Okay, I'm just going to park right behind Trevor right here. This confirms they're in the area. City of Saints and struggle. And I can't go through this way, nor this way. I'm even trying to kick the door down. Nothing's happening. You fucks took shitty million scum. Gotta give me some cush at the ride. All right, let's go inside real quick. Yo, what's cracking, Mr. C? Okay, now we're in here. I'm gonna follow the marker and see if I can track Trevor down. You wanna go in the back, sugar? Jerk? What happened there? Loser. I guess uh, they're getting butt hurt right now. Alright, let's turn around. Private dance? Not right now. I'm on official business. Frank needs to find Trevor. And we haven't even got close to finding the man. I mean, I was lost with Mike for about 20 minutes trying to find exactly where to go. And this is the furthest I've been. We're going to go through this door. We're getting closer to the marker now. I'm seeing the light, and it's right through that door. We got here. I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? About it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah, sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. And there goes another victim in Trevor's murder spree we have, and 
I never noticed this, but Mike's car has some pretty interesting rims. Got money signs right there. Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. All right. Got it. We are scoping out the place. Gotta take a turn right here, not getting hit by the car, and... There's that little yellow spear I like to see. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Well, let's drive out. We need to scope out the back entrance. Exit out of white screen mode. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Alright, let's make this turn without hitting the curb. Accomplished. We're not gonna really that far away from where we need to go so I'm not gonna warp out here all right there it is let's take this left and get into the little yellow sphere look dog light again man yeah fucking eerie ain't it man you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves yeah huh? well, maybe we really are broke Trevor how are you doing Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. When you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Seems like Trevor's trying to set up some sort of side deal with Lester. Anyways, I'm going to be skipping out of this. It's kind of a long drive, and we're here. All right, we need to get out of the helicopter. Before we got here, I think someone was shooting at me, so I'm going to see if anyone's coming. Don't see no one, so let's get to the chopper. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Alright, all we have to do is fly to Murrieta Heights. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Mike's observations fit with your scheme so far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby twin. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. You are in restricted airspace. Divert your course or you will be shot down. I don't think I mentioned this before, but I kind of don't like flying in this game. All right, we need to lose the cops. I triggered some sort of alarm system. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. 
They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. We're running out of time! Chill out, Lester, we're almost there. Hold on. This this should be it. Let's get a little closer. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. That convoy just got into a pretty big We're accident. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. Alright, let's try to do that. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Having a little trouble here, but I'm trying to stay on top of these guys, and there they come. Right down the street, I got them on sight. I'm gonna stay around the area, see where they go. Let's turn around, there they come. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route, and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! All right, let's back up. We need to pull back from the security trucks. I'm not sure how back I should go. I'm kind of far away now. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. It's the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Not in this case. We're in the air. Okay, they're going down the street. We're going to have to follow them. I still don't quite know how you're supposed to go faster in this thing. But I'm trying. And that's what counts. All right, they went under that. I think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Okay, a little come problem out the there. Other side. I'll go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. You know, normally the helicopter would go down if we're going to the the side of the building or something like that. So. That is something I am appreciating right now. And I think we're gonna go a little forward so we don't run into that building. Might cause an alarm to go off. Probably. Where are these guys at? Been waiting for a little second now. Kind of annoyed. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey! It, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Little well, no here, but it took me longer than usual to find this thing. I'm gonna skip out of here. There's your big asshole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Did Lester forget his medication today? He's tripping out. We're not even close yet. All right, let's uh, move closer to this big ass hole that's supposed to be somewhere around here. All 
Alright, I'm trying to have this thing fly a little slower this time. I'll get you closer. Because when I go try to go faster, that's when bad things happen. I'm not going to go into details about that. I need to hover near the construction entrance. How close I'm supposed to be, I... They don't even tell me. I'm just blind. Like, how far do they... Is this close? Down into it. I hear you, Lester, but you're not telling me how far you want me away from this thing. This seems to be close enough. I don't understand what's the deal. Might have to move closer. I'm gonna try that out. Maybe that'll work. Maybe Lester will be happy then. Seems like he's gonna blow you me above it, do you? a vein or something. Even Trevor's asking questions now. Lester's just staying silent. Now it's too far away. We're gonna go opposite uh, direction now and go a lot closer to this thing. All right, let's press B. Hover up, Bob, so I can shoot. Now just hover here. Okay. Where are you going? I need my eyes on that hole. All right, let's go backwards. No hints at supporting structures for the vault walls. That should hold some weight. Ah, yeah, that'll do. Hold here. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. All right, good. I think Lester avoided a hernia. We're going to switch. Okay, get off the phone. Go we'll switch the mic. And we need to take Franklin to his house. So let's take this drive. Hey, so how you feeling about this? I feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor get it done. Yeah, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. All right, Mike seems set on keeping this a secret to his grave or something. We're really not that far away from Frank's house right now. Just a little further to go. We'll keep on following this car in front of us. Which is pretty nice, by the way. I'm going to have to avoid accident right here. You got to be watching these drivers sometimes. The AI has them do some special things. I've seen everything. I'm not going to mention it all. But things happen. Avoiding that pothole right there. And there is Frank's house. This man came up. Look at him. Ball and Okay. Let's drop him right, off. Alan. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. All right, looks like we're done here. We might have to check the map again. We have passed the mission. Surveying the score has been completed. All right, where do we have to go now? We got to go back to Mike's spot or something? Seems like it. Okay, let's mark the waypoint. We're off. Back out of here. Try not to run into Frank's house. And we're gonna warp. Magically, we are right back at 
Mike's place passes Let's through the gates. The Let's get inside. I'm interested to see what we even have to do here. Don't usually have to go back to Mike's place, so... Alright. Car kind of got in my way, but I figured that out. We're in. Hey. A health pack. Can I collect this? Seems to be here, ripe for the taking. I'm pressing all sorts of buttons. I'm just kicking stuff now. Try to take covers for some particular reason. Hey, you never know. And let's go to the living room. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Too late to think about that shit now. He's off. That's right. my car, you prick! Ah, uh, damn. Trevor stole the man's car. We have to go to Los Santos International Airport without a car. All right, some in here. All right, they took everything. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back at my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Stop your car. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. Oh, I'm not going to listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Just stop the car. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. Oh, oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of... Sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. 
You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! This is messed up. Soon enough, I will. You're gonna what, Trevor? Shit! I didn't hear what he was trying to say. He sounded like the troll from under the bridge for a second. Oh, hold on. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. But I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Guess we got ourselves a big problem now. Anyways, we're going to make it through the intersection. It's going to be a pretty long drive. I'm going to skip all that. And we're at the airport. Been here a few times already. Los Santos International. Oh, how I haven't really missed you. Okay. We parked the car, we're gonna have to go to the second level terminal entrance, and that will be our destination. So just hurry this up and have Mike just run through the street blindly. We almost got hit by a car there. A couple of them. Run up the stairs. I don't think we have too far to go. Made it. What's that even Chinese? Sound kind of racist to me. Okay, hold on, let's move on. Ah, shit. You know things are serious when they got the 80s movie music playing. All right, we need to go to Lunderdorf Cemetery. Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pay attention, no one gets hurt. Trust me, darling, look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Work this out. We're getting a little glimpse into what's happening in Mike's mind right now. He is replaying a lot of scenes. Skipped out of that. We did. We're at the cemetery. Maybe we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Everything well, it seems like Mike regretted those words. We need to go to our, well, his grave. I was about to say, our, whatever. All right, we're at the cemetery entrance. And I think we're just go gun it. Where's Trevor at? All right, there he is. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time. Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. Oh, 
if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Joe has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it doing? How's it doing? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Oh, they're talking shit now. We need to get back to the car somehow. We have an army of people coming at us. This is. A pretty bad situation right now. Friends, T. Got two of them down. Let's move forward. Grab some ammunition. We're gonna take cover again. There's more people coming. Right behind this gravestone should be perfect. Our little pistol this out. Quite a few of them down with this trusty pistol. Oh, hey, back off! I'm pretty good about it. Except for that. I'm just pretty freaking bad. Okay, let's stop focusing on that guy. This guy is walking in boldly. Still up? Their hit points at this time is kind of crazy. They need a, a few headshots sometimes. Is he down now? Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! You better not come back up. I don't think he's a zombie. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more! Yeah, I would think so. Kinda left you for dead here. You're out of your element! See what I'm talking about? Two headshots. Where you gotta go hey, now? you got the wrong guy! Okay, had to shoot a little wildly there. But I got him. Hey, can't we do this for the weather better? We got you, you idiot. I got that guy in his heart and he's still up. You're making a mistake! Oh, I got a headshot right there. Okay, that guy ran out of nowhere. And that's what he gets for doing that. I really need to collect a lot of this ammunition. Alright, assault rifle is out now. You're way off, assholes! Let's collect more ammunition. Yourself. You started this! We could have teamed up! Damn, that was hell off. A blind mongoose could shoot better than me right now. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? Alright. Because of their increased HP, I'm gonna spray a lot more. That away. Taking cover back here again. I don't know how many more of them there are, but they seem to be coming from everywhere. Fuck off! Don't die for your lover. Oh, 
they're talking. They're still talking shit. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! I might have to move closer. This is gonna annoy me. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more! Come on! You're out of your element! A little frustrated, but I'm going to make it through. Hey, you got the wrong guy! Got him. This is how many guys you send to kill Trevor Phillips? I don't know about you, Mike, but this is a lot of people right here. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? We have three more people outside, I think. You are screwed. Give it up. Let's take our time. We're trying to taunt us. I ain't got anything against you people. Two more people left, I think. You're making a mistake. Should be right by the man. There he is. Boom. You should have gone after the other guy. I'm gonna blow that up all in the same instance. We're gonna get to the car and leave. How many they got in this van? I don't see the van, but we need to go. If you were local, you'd know the train comes by right now. <laughs> Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. All right, this is not good for Mike. He has been caught up by the Chinese mafia. And I guess we are back with Trevor. We need to fly back to Sandy Shores Airfield. That's exactly where I intend to go. One thing I'm going to know here is that... Hold on. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> Was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County, but your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid, and then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover, yeah, right. It's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Yeah, that wasn't racist at all. Okay. Kind of disgusted with Trevor right now, but here we go. I suddenly landed the plane. Don't ask how it happened. It just did. Bury the hatchet has been completed as well as this playthrough. I'm going to be coming out with a continuation to the series real soon so be on the lookout for that as usual if you've reached the end of the video please leave a like subscribe and even slap that notification button i'll really appreciate it so thank you very much for watching until the next time i hope you have a good one i hope you take care peace out